Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of The Abstract Amy Show. This will be my uh, last two uh, interviews with Skin Body Renewal for the year of 2017 and I'm so delighted that these last two are going to be with my absolute favourite doctors from Skin Body Renewal. So I'd like to bring back the magnificent, gorgeous Dr. Chakra, and she really is the best person to be discussing the subject called body contouring. Now, a lot of uh, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have picked up a little bit over December. It's totally fine. We do, but um, um, we're here to obviously explain to you that diet and exercise are great, but they're nifty little tricks that can really accelerate that weight loss pro- pro- um, process. So, welcome back to my show, Dr. Chakra. Thank you, Amy. It's always lovely to be on your show. And yes, this is the time of year after all of the Christmas parties and New Year's events where everybody is looking at themselves and going, oh, maybe I overindulged a little bit. What can I do to help accelerate that process of getting back to my normal shape? Absolutely. Thank you so much. So uh, let's let's just talk about, let's just go through things step by step. Um, when you uh, consider the, the types of people that come in for body contouring treatments, what are typically the main concerns that you're hearing from your customers? Um, you know, just, and, and, and here, obviously, talk from experience, talk honestly, talk in terms of, you know, you know, from a perspective of women and men, are, are there common concerns at the moment? Mm-hmm. I would say the number one main concern for both men and women would be the midsection. So we're talking about that little pooch in the front and your love handles. Those are would probably constitute about 50 to 60% of what everybody is coming in for when they come for body contouring. Mm-hmm. Other problem areas that we see a lot of are um, saddlebags, you know, that lovely little sausage that you get underneath your buttocks, um, <laughs> bra bulges, yeah. underarms, and then also more commonly now, inner thighs has become a thing after people are aspiring to what I hate, which is called the thigh gap. Okay, just just the thigh gap, you, you don't like the thigh gap Well, movement. I think that thigh yeah. gaps are for children. Right. And I am a woman, personally, and people that I see are adults. They're not children. No. Nobody really, uh, who, in my opinion, is healthy, Mm. really does have a thigh gap. Absolutely. I think that it looks unnatural. It may look good in photo shoots, but in real life, it's actually quite bizarre. It is bizarre. Yeah. And thank you, sorry, thank you so much for saying this, because it really, it, it, it does look a little odd when you see these women with their like hips sort of swinging, but it doesn't touch in the middle, and you're like, have you just come off, uh, walk, uh, gotten off a horse or something, you know? Yeah, right. no, absolutely, thigh but- gaps. For, for children. Not natural. No. But if, if people do want to get the thigh gap, <laughs> I mean, say for instance, there is somebody that has lost a huge amount of weight. If their goal is to be supermodel looking, can you make a thigh gap? <laughs> you know, making a thigh gap would take... Um, actually, I'm not even going to talk about making a thigh gap. Okay. I'm, going, I'm just going to talk about treatments that you can do to okay. contour your body uh, to a point where you feel happy that you're feeling firm and that your skin is looking good and you're feeling nice and tight and healthy. Okay. So those treatments would be things like, first of all, looking at your lifestyle, Mm -hmm. um, making sure that you are at the correct BMI for your weight and height, um, you know, looking at your diet, making sure that you're eating the correct things. I think you and I have done a podcast on that before. Yeah. Um, you know, looking at your exercise programs and how mobile you are during the week. Those things are, are part of the whole package of starting to look and feel healthy and good. Mm. So once people are within about five to six kilograms of their goal weight, right? that is when you want that extra little bit of refinement mm-hmm. and you come to us and we can help you do the contouring. Okay. So, for instance, if you've got loose skin, mm. We can do collagen stimulating treatments for Mm. you um, Mm. that'll tighten up and firm the skin Mm. and that will also help with cellulite reduction. Mm -hmm. You know, there are lots of procedures that we can do for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, People come in for treatments that can reduce fatty pockets, you know, those stubborn little fatty pockets such as your stomach and your love handles, etc. We also do have a medical weight loss program if you are not within five kilograms of your body weight and we suggest, you know, really try and 
lose some first mm -hmm. before we do the body contouring treatment. So there is a wide array of options for you at Skin, Body and Health Renewal. Beautiful. So so when we talk about uh, the things that uh, you, you've, you've obviously just mentioned, it, the things that need to be in place before you focus on the on the body contouring, mm -hmm. um, you, you obviously did mention some of these uh, preparation treatments like the collagen stimulation. Mm -hmm. um, but I do know that things like the correct BMI mm -hmm. and a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. have got to be in place. Mm -hmm. Can you just quickly explain what BMI means? Because I think that's a term that a lot of people hear mm -hmm. and they don't necessarily know what it's about. Your BMI is your body mass index and it's calculated using your height and your weight. Mm -hmm. And there's a specific ratio that we can then plot against the chart. Mm -hmm. So healthy is between 20 to 25. Less than 20, you know, is really bordering on perhaps a little bit too thin. Mm -hmm. And above 25, you're starting to look at being overweight, obese, mm. morbidly obese, etc. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we want people to be within their normal BMI range. Okay, so between 20 and 25. And I mean, anybody listening right now, if they want to know if they really are a candidate for your body contouring, they can go get a BMI test at their local gym. Mm. Their fitness instructor can do it yes. and, and so on. Brilliant. Well, I remember when I thought I looked my best, uh, my BMI was 18. And uh, now it makes sense because that's when people kept telling me I looked so sick. And I was like, but I was so thin. They're like, exactly. Yeah. Eat a sandwich, please. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, so, it's, so I think we're, we're, what you're saying is that sometimes it doesn't matter what the numbers say on a scale. Rather look at your mass, your, your, okay. Okay, right. So let's, let's took it. Uh, so another little point that I'm seeing here is uh, having the correct headspace. Um, uh, just for instance, it would not help you to do a cryo treatment uh, and then still eat what you want. So can we just quickly talk about headspace for a second? Yeah, so I think we touched on it a little bit before, yeah. you know, it's about also not not just maintaining your lifestyle, but also looking at what you can realistically expect to achieve. Yeah. We are so bombarded nowadays with Instagram and social media yeah. and all of the advertisements with incredibly unrealistic expectations of what our bodies should look like. Yeah. Um, and increasingly, and it's quite worrying for me, I have a lot of young patients who have only grown up with social media. That's right. They have not had the privilege, which I think is the privilege, of growing up without it. Sure. And they have brought in Instagram photos oh of people and said, can you please make me look like this? Oh, my gosh. And it breaks my heart because it's so obvious to me that those photographs have been photoshopped and you've had filter upon filter upon them. You know, so I think having a good realistic expectation of what can be achieved and what actually does look healthy mm. and what is normal mm. is something that is important before you come for these treatments you know we can also chat to you a little bit about your expectations and and see what your headspace is mm. you know that's that's kind of important and then the other thing of course is if you're going to invest in these treatments you know, it's always good to maintain one's investment mm -hmm. by not going and eating all the pies mm. and maintaining your exercise and diet, etc. I love eating all the pies. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There are those days when we want to just eat them all. <laughs> but like, like pies, it's how good are pies though? Like, like I'm just, I'm thinking about like going to the spa and you know, like a spinach and feta pie. Damn you. No, but I, I agree. And, and, and I just think that, you know, and uh, maybe sometime you can come on my show, maybe not as a, a Dr. Chakra, maybe just as a regular women and maybe talk about how social media has affected our generation i'm so we're the same age more or less i think you're a few years older than me but i went to school in the 90s and the 80s it was a blessing we 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 literally as our grandparents said we played outside with sticks and climbed trees you know okay so chakra absolutely so chakra okay let's talk about the most important uh, and popular body contouring treatments um and maybe just elaborate on things like radio frequency uh cryo fat freeze and carboxy and maybe just explain how they work I think probably our most popular treatment would be the fat freezing uh, yeah. purely because it's sort of a you know it's a treatment that you can do in an hour mm. that doesn't really involve any pain okay you come in and whichever stubborn area of fat is bothering you the machine has heads that will suck your fat up into those heads and cool it down to about minus eight degrees your fat cells cannot thrive at those conditions and so you know they get destroyed mm -hmm. 
And what happens is you have your treatment, they take the machine off, they massage it down a little bit. You might be a little bit tender for a few days on the area where you've had it. Mm -hmm. And then you forget that you've had the treatment Mm -hmm. because you will start to see your results in about four to five weeks time, which is relatively quick, I think, um, for a once off treatment Mm -hmm. that is non-invasive. So I think that is probably one of our most popular treatments. Mm. Um, And it's quite... You know, it really does work. I've seen it on patients. I've seen it on myself. You know, you kind of the first two weeks, you're like, oh, well, you know, what is this? Nothing's happening. Third week, you're like, nothing's happening. Fourth week, you start to see that things have slimmed down and you're losing that weight. So it's quite rewarding. I would say fat freezing is our most popular. Okay. Other ways to get rid of stubborn pockets of fat we can do lipodissolve injections where we actually inject into the area mm-hmm. uh, with substances that will dissolve those fat cells that can give very, very targeted results. Mm. Um, and we can really do that anywhere on the body. Mm. Um, we even can do it on the face for face sculpturing as well. Then um, there's ultrasound and radio frequency treatments. Uh, we have a wide variety of machines, but probably our most popular is the Exilus. Mm. So that is cutting edge technology, which does fat reduction and skin tightening at the same time. Mm. So it's kind of a two in one, um, buy one, get one free scenario. Sure, sure. With the Exilus and also can be used anywhere on the body from the top of your head down to your feet. Okay. So those are nice things for stubborn pockets of fat. Okay. People also worry about loose skin, so we want to build up collagen and firm and tighten and target areas that have cellulite. Mm. We have some invasive treatments to treat cellulite, such as subcision, which, where you come in with it to the doctor and I would use a little cannula underneath the skin to try and break up those really dimpled areas of skin sure, okay. as a sort of once-off initial treatment. After that, you come back and you do treatments like Exilus or Vela Shape mm. or even Carboxy Therapy mm. to tighten up and strengthen the skin in that area. Okay, great. Yeah, so okay. those are probably our most popular treatments. Fantastic and, 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 pre- and pretty uh, timeless results. I mean, you, you, you're seeing them within a couple of, uh, of weeks. Yeah, in yeah. a couple of weeks, you know, most people who come here, unfortunately, there's no sort of once-off magic wand. No, I wish there was. <laughs> so our yeah. treatment programs, we would normally put together a treatment program for you right. that would be anywhere between three to six months, depending on what your uh, problems are. So, the, and this is this is what I've always loved about Skin Body Renewal, is that you, you can take anybody, and it doesn't matter what your background is, where you are in life, nothing, you will tailor-make a program if it has to include exercise and weight loss and nutrition, you can throw that in too. Um, so you really are the, the, the turnkey sort of facilitators for full transformation. Okay, so let's talk about some home tips. Um, for instance, uh, you know, people, I guess, if they're, if they're investing in these, these programs, maybe they, don't, they obviously don't have the education experience you have, Chakra, so they might go home and have all the pies. So let's talk about the home treatments. What are the tips? Um, any, anything like, yeah, let's talk about hydration, nutrition, scrubbing your body, whatever it may be. All of the home care tips are incredibly boring. You've okay. all heard them before. You're tired of me saying them. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what they are. They yeah. are eating healthily, staying away from sugar, um, getting enough rest, right. hydrating yourself. Sure. Um, you know, all of those terribly boring things. Sunscreen. Nobody wants to hear about. Wearing sunscreen is so important. Yeah. Um, you know, you can also do things at home to help treat your the skin on your body we focus a lot on our faces and Mm. we've all got six seven products in our bathroom cupboard that we apply religiously to our faces and we forget about our necks and our hands and our and the skin on our arms and our stomachs etc so there are products that you can use which also help um, moisturize and increase collagen in your skin on Mm. your body Mm. um yeah you know sunscreen as we mentioned before you get exfoliating products for your for your skin as well Mm. and Basically, just the basics, you mm. know, stick to those, be disciplined, look after yourself. Yeah, and yeah. you know what you know what healthy is. Everybody knows 
an apple is healthier than a pizza. Everyone knows that half a glass of red wine at dinner is healthy. Like, we know this stuff. We know it. And uh, if in any doubt, please come and book a consultation with Dr. Shahra. Personally, she is the most glowing testament to how beauty should look. And I'm not even joking. It is, it's almost too much. Maybe if you're a bit of a jealous person, don't. Maybe go with Dr. Graham then. <laughs> I mean, he's gorgeous, but if you're a woman, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, Dr. Shahra, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Amy. Amy, lovely to work with you. Since the last interview. Oh, it's too sad. Until, until next year. I'll, I'll get you back. Don't worry. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the Abstract Amy Show. Please go and book your one-on-one personal consultation with Dr. Shahra as soon as possible if you'd like to really make some big changes to your life this year.